This video is brought to you by Squarespace, a platform perfect for creating your own website. Stay tuned to hear more. I don't know how to show you. They're stars. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Tiffany and today I am so excited because I'm officially going to start getting back in my crochet era. I took a little bit of a break because I made a bunch of fluffy flowers and then my entire body was like breaking because I think I worked a little bit too hard and my posture was so incredibly bad during the whole thing that it actually took like a physical toll on my body, which makes me feel really old even though I'm only 23. I <laughs> took a long break from crocheting for that reason um, and some other reasons. I was doing other stuff, focusing on other bigger and better things, but now I am back because I've been meaning to do this for a little bit too long. Uh, I've kind of been putting this off a little bit, but I wanted to sell little ducky pouches on my shop. I showed you guys one of these a long time ago. Everyone seemed really excited about it and I really do genuinely enjoy crocheting. So I wanted to make a few of these for my shop. This is gonna be extremely limited in quantity. I feel like a lot of things I make are unfortunately limited in quantity. I really struggle with trying to make sure that like everyone gets something if they want one, but also realizing that that's one, impossible. And two, when I make handmade things, very much impossible. So a lot of times I have a couple of limited launches on my website throughout the year, but this is going to be one of them. I kind of adjusted the one that I did before. This one is my personal ducky. She carries a lot of cute little things, put like my crochet needles in here and stuff like that. Little backstory on my duck. Originally, this is not the first ducky that I made. The absolute first ducky that I made actually looks like this. The neck is very <laughs> wobbly, but it's definitely not as cute as you guys can see, but this is the one that I originally showed, I think on an Instagram live or maybe a couple of YouTube videos and everyone went crazy and really wanted one. I hand installed a zipper and I did like a lining. My personal ducky, the inner lining is this really cute color. I also hand install the zippers and things like that. So it's 100% handmade, no machines used other than to, you know, obviously make the yarn and the fabric. I'm not making that. Very exciting because now I get to make more of these, which means I get to, you know, not only practice like a skill that I really enjoy, but I get to share it with some of you guys. So I don't know how many of these I'll be able to make. I'm aiming for 10, but that might be a bit ambitious. I'm also thinking about pricing because that's just gonna be a little tricky. One of the reasons that I don't always do handmade things, especially when you guys request them, is because pricing is tricky. Although I want it to be fair to myself, I also want it to be fair to you guys. Because these are handmade, it takes several hours to make like one of them. So when you guys do see the price, I'm sure it's gonna be a bit high. I hope you guys understand. I wanted to take you guys throughout the journey, of course. We can hang out and like vibe. This is what they're probably gonna look like. I might do a couple different linings, but the bag extends all the way to like up here. When she has like stuff in her, like we could put this little guy in there. Honestly, you can fit a lot of things in here. My lip gloss that I need to make sure is closed. This pair of scissors that has a little part like that. When it's more full, she kind of sits, which is really, really cute. I experimented with making wings one time, but I did not like it. But I might give her a little bow or something because I think that would be cute. Probably removable because you guys know I love giving you guys options. Yeah, she's really cute. You can fit so many things in her. Um, the zippers work relatively well. I could fit like my new keychains in here. This guy's really cute. It has like little shakers. This is my version number two shaker that I'm not sure if this is online yet by the time these videos come out, but I did get new keychains. So this was my shaker before. As you can see, like the shaker pieces on the inside, the candy is super small and they just weren't the right sizes. Overall, this wasn't my design. So I had my manufacturer fix them and I just got them in the mail and they look super cute. The little shakers, specifically the candy is a much different size on the new one. And I decided to just add some sprinkles and stuff. So these are the second version and these will be in my shop sometime soon, uh, probably announced in the next vlog or something like that. But yeah, I think it's so much cuter. And the next time around, once I sell out of both of these, which will probably be a while, I wanna change these into pink. So super exciting changes coming up, but very happy about these. So yeah, keep an eye out on my shop for all these new changes. She's just a cute little duck. I've had this one for four months now, maybe. I don't know. I have no sense of time right now, but I've had this one for quite a while. And the yarn I use is also like super sturdy. I bought a bunch of yarn and today is the first day where 
we're gonna do official crocheting for little duckies. So. But before we start today's video sponsored by Squarespace, so let's have a quick word from them because I am so excited to have been able to launch my own website with Squarespace. They have been so incredible and they make the whole process so easy and I seriously cannot recommend them enough. So to all my artists out there that wanna start their own website, definitely check out Squarespace because they have amazing templates for you to follow. And in this vlog, I'm gonna be making my little ducky pouches and when they're ready, I'm gonna be launching them on my Squarespace website as well. And with Squarespace, I'm also able to send out promo emails, which I'm super excited about. So you guys can sign up for that on my Squarespace website as well at checkout and you will be notified when I put out these very few ducky pouches. But I wanna thank Squarespace for making it so easy for me to customize my own website and to sell my art because their commerce tools are amazing. They make it so easy for me to list my new items quickly and simply. So if you guys wanna check it out for yourself, please head to squarespace.com forward slash Tiffany Wang to try it out and use the code Tiffany Wang for a discount off your first purchase of a website or domain. I will have all this information linked for you down in the description box below. And again, when my ducky pouches come out, I will announce them on Instagram and on my Squarespace website. Thank you again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Now back to the vlog. So kind of random, but I just redid this like little bedside part to my room and my cup just looks so cute with it. I came to like get something real quick, but I just realized. So here's a little tour of the top of my dresser so far. Obviously the Moomin painting is still there, but I changed the stuff up here. So we have Gorilla Kuma and my big Miffy, and I'm actually in the middle of crocheting another Miffy, so hopefully that'll be done soon. But we have like new stuff here. I used to have hair accessories here, but it felt a little bit too cluttered, so I just changed some of the stuff out. And same on the side. This side is like completely different. But I got this from Target from like the dollar section years ago. It's just so cute. It's been one of my favorite pieces of decor. We have a little Chikawa friend, and I gave him this little cup the other day because I just thought he really needed this green tea, so he has one. It's really cute. But yeah, we also have some Sunny Angels. I'm getting back into collecting Sunny Angels lately, so one is supposed to arrive in the mail soon. Maybe it'll be in this vlog, I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm gonna actually take this and go work now. I just had to come grab like my crochet needles. So I am excited and let's go ahead and get started. I think I can literally start right now because I'm kind of in a crocheting mood. So I'm gonna start by making the body. I have all my yarn on the ground. That's like the easiest way I found, have it out of my workspace. I'm going to do two strands because that's just my preference, especially with these bigger bags. Like this is quite a large bag, head for comparison. So I want to make sure that it's like sturdy. I'm just gonna do a magic circle. I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions about the pattern. I don't currently have plans on releasing the pattern. I don't have anything officially typed up. I don't know. I've never like released a pattern before, so it'd have to be something that I want to think about for a little bit. Uh, so I apologize to everyone who really probably wants the pattern, but there are similar things online for sure. And cinch the magic circle. Currently using a little Psyduck as stitch marker and I'm just gonna pace myself and see how many of these I can do. I got very creative a few days ago and I did a bunch of drawings for stickers. So hopefully those will be coming in the next few weeks. I don't know if they'll be in this vlog. They might. Has my hair been like this the whole entire time? Probably not. I touch my hair a lot. Got a little side duck. My nose gets like itchy from I think fibers of yarn floating through the air. I'm trying to improve my posture as well. So instead of like crocheting like this, which is what I used to do, I try to crochet like this with like my back straight and it being in front of me so that I'm not looking down all the time. But if anyone has any tips on posture while crocheting, I would love to hear them because that be something that I am interested in nowadays. So also it is important to stretch and stand up when you're crocheting. It's important. Because like, I'll sit and I'll work for like eight hours a day. So I don't want to sit for like eight hours straight, especially if I don't have to. I'm gonna keep working until I want to take a break. Okay, now I have officially reached a good stopping point because now I'm just doing like my regular rounds. I'm going to go check on the hammies. I wanted to give you guys a bit of a hammy update. So I'm gonna bring each of them up here and just share a little bit about them because I think it's been a while since we've seen all of the hammies. Also, some of the hammies are getting a bit older. So yeah, but we're gonna have a random hammy meet and greet right now. I hope you guys are okay with that. Okay, so welcome to the first official hammy meet and greet. I've been super grateful to be able to like be in one place this year. So I've been able to take care of some hammies. So we're gonna start with the, um, it's making little sounds. Can you hear her? 
I think that sound is roxing. Can these do that when they're happy? Purin's also been purring lately, but I'm gonna they move you into a slightly different position. She's just so comfortable. So this is Purin, also known as Purin Bean. She's very sweet and she loves to be pet, as you can tell. Giving me some kisses. Thank you for the kisses. She's super sweet. She's my baby. She's the smallest dwarf hamster I've ever had. She's full grown. She had her first birthday a little bit ago. So she is officially one years old. When she's in her cage, if I call her name, she will burst out of her little nest and it's super cute. But if you'll turn around, if I just start petting her, she'll just get really calm. She likes to just be pet, but she's very well handled and she likes to be like, smush down. I know some people think that like she's only staying still because I'm basically smushing her down, but I promise you the other hams will not let you do this. Kieran has some dietary restrictions, so she can't have like fruits because she's prone to diabetes in her genetics, which we know from her sister. Yeah, she loves to be pet and she might fall asleep on camera, I'm not sure. She also is the only ham that lets me cut her nails. I don't cut the hammy's nails if it's like unnecessary, but hers do grow pretty long. So I do have to get hers every once in a while. Kieran had um, some health scares a little bit ago and she was bleeding from her, her hammy parts. Basically, she's a female hamster. It was very scary because my last hamster also passed away for that reason so I got super freaked out I brought her to my vet she's giving me kisses you're so sweet thank you for that but we got a medicine for her that also was like a special mix I think so that she wouldn't have a bad reaction since she's prone to diabetes and it worked for a while but then it didn't work uh, her bleeding came back after she was off of the medicine for like a week so that was super worrisome and I already kind of like was mentally preparing for her to be gone but then we went back on the medicine one more time so one more month of antibiotics two times a day which you were so brave for she did such a good job after that it worked miraculously and she hasn't had any issues since then. So super proud of you for making a recovery. You're so brave. And it's been about a month since her medication has ended and she's been doing very well. So I'm very happy. But that's what Purin's been up to. Now she gets a very, very bland diet of just veg and hammy food, but she just hangs out a lot. We hang out every day. I see her for like an hour or two every day because she's my most social ham for sure. And, um, I'm super grateful that she's still here. Also, speaking of her being a little elderly ham, I think on her back, she's graying a little bit where her stripe is, which makes me so sad, but it's also kind of cute. But lately it seems like it's having some little gray patches. So we're just keeping an eye on that, but you're so cute. She's uh, my forever baby, as I call her. <laughs> she's full grown, but she's just like the tiniest little thing. Why are you so small? Why are you so small? But there she is. There's Purin. Thank you for coming today. Being so sweet and sleeping and making cute little sounds. The other hammies probably will not. <laughs> they probably won't show off as much as her, but. I'm gonna put her back in her little home. She also likes to wrap her little feet around my hand when I hold her, as you can see, but I'm gonna go ahead and put her back in her cage. Next, we have Pingu, who is very shocked that he's outside right now. Pingu is my only ghost hamster that I've really ever had. I got him when he was, I think, full grown. If you can tell by his back, he's a big Russian hammy. So we have two Russian hammy dwarfs who I call the tinies. And then we have banana muffin, but this is my only boy hamster that I've ever had. I got him kind of impulsively. I already had like all of the hamster materials to house another hammy. I only had Purin at the time. I saw him at the pet store. I felt really sad because he was already full grown. And I know that at pet stores, a lot of times when hammies get full grown or just have been there for too long and like they're not selling, they will just like throw them away. I got Pingu because I was worried that was gonna happen to him and he was super cute. He looks like a mole. He doesn't really look like a hamster. He's super flat. He likes to stay low to the ground and his paws are huge, if he'll let me show you. When he <laughs> gets picked up, he puts his little paws in the air as opposed to like outward. Like most of my hamsters are star-shaped. We'll put his paws straight up in the air. <laughs> Why do you do that, you silly man? Also, he is entirely black, which I think is super cute, except for a little spot underneath him. Like you can see his little mouth, but even his tail is black, which is so cute. Oh. 
good job putting your little tail in the air. Thank you for showing us. He just like doesn't really care about anyone or anything, which is an ongoing joke. He, most hamsters have interests. His only interest that I've discovered is that he likes to dig. So I give him a lot of bedding. I have the least to say about Pingu because I honestly don't know anything about him because he won't let me get to know him. And even right now he keeps hiding from the camera. I keep trying to like give him a chance to look around, but he just wants to be anywhere but here because he doesn't care about anyone or anything, including me. But I care about Pingu, so that is all that matters, but he's just so funny. He's being a little crazy right now. I'm gonna put him back in his cage. But there's Pingu. I hope you got to know him because even I have yet to know almost any information about you. And our last ham of the day is Banana Muffin. Hello, my sweet babe. So Banana Muffin is my long haired hammy and her hair is pretty long. As you can see her like little ear wisps go kind of crazy. Maybe you can see them against my shirt a little bit more. She's super cute. She's my little baby. We like to say she's the kitten of the house because she's so big. She's kind of kitten sized. I don't know. I haven't had cats before. She's so soft. She feels like a cloud. She eats all the food in the house because she's so large and she's so funny. She's like my funniest hamster for sure. I had this epiphany the other day because I used to think that she was just different because she's a Syrian hamster, but then I realized that I've had Syrian hamsters before and and they're not all like this. She's just super bizarre, but she loves to stare. Like she'll just stand in her cage and she will stare at me or anything. Um, there have been times where I've like told her I'm gonna go get something for her. And then I come back and she's just been sitting there and standing and staring the entire time. And she likes to rearrange furniture. She likes to escape. One time she escaped and chewed up my phone charger, which I don't know why she had to take my phone charger because you don't even have a phone to charge. I also like to flip her on her back. <laughs> Can I show everyone how big you are? Wow, you're so big. Look at you go. We've been working on letting me touch her face. She used to flinch all the time, but I have to make sure that we're able to do it for like all her vet visits and stuff. Cause you're my little vanilla bear. She's bear shaped, which is so cute. And I love her. And she's so much heavier than all of the other hamsters. But yeah, that's the end of our hammy meet and greet. Vote for your favorite ham down in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. They all have their own personalities. So so it's so funny, but I would love to hear which one is your baby fave. We have Purin Bean, Pingu, or Banana Muffin, all very cute hams. So let me know. I think my goal for today is to make two bodies and one head because the bodies take me the longest and obviously the head is much smaller. So that doesn't affect me as much. Also, I did get some tea today. So I'll be sipping on this for the rest of the day. I've gotten to the end of one of my strings. So I have to connect it. Oh my god. <laughs> a fresh cake of yarn? Did we establish this what that's called? I called it a cake of yarn before and I still wasn't sure if that was correct or not. I don't like doing this normally and normally you don't have to because you don't run out of yarn that quickly but these only come in this tiny size and I don't know why but it doesn't matter because the white yarn that I've been using is literally huge so it's like very large. Look how huge this is. It's literally compared to my hands. It's ginormous and I'm gonna try to use all of it. I don't know how, but there's just, there's just so much of it. Oh my God. I'm just going to tie these two ends together. I'm using two strands of yarn. So one of them is still continuous. So it really won't affect the strength. Now I can just continue on like regular. This knot is gonna be on the inside of the bag, obviously. So you will not be seeing it. Do not worry. And also this yarn is so stiff to start with, but like the more you use the bag, the softer it gets. And I don't really know why that is. I guess that's just the quality of like things like that. They get worn down a little bit, but this guy is so soft now. Like it's hard to believe that these were made from the same material because they feel so different, but wonderful. Finished one body. So now I'm gonna play Battle Cats, which is my new obsession, not spawns for some reason. I started playing this like two days ago. Currently I am on the Emperor of Darkness and I can't stop playing it, but it's so strange. I don't play like many combat games. The only game that I play with like any sort of conflict is League of Legends. Right now, currently I'm grinding for EXP so that I can level up my cats more. Do you guys want to see my cats? Uh, these are the cats that I have. Love this random crotch shot for some reason, but they're so funny and they're so bizarre. Currently my favorite cat is Titan Cat, obviously, cause he's broken. This is what the game <laughs> looks like. Taking a little battle cat break, slay. Okay, so I have finished 
two of the bodies. I started just working on a third one because I feel like I'm on a roll. I'm going to go ahead and head out. I might do a little bit more tonight. I'm gonna go and play some, what is it called? The shuffling game at the arcade. I'm trying to learn how to shuffle. Maybe one day I will learn, I don't know. It was like something I worked on in high school and then I never picked it back up again, but we're gonna go do that. So I'm going to head out. I will see you guys tomorrow and we will continue our journey of making these little guys and see how it goes. Also super random, but I just took some nice pics for Instagram. I think this one's pretty cute. I did, however, uh, totally Photoshop the little blush onto the duck because it just isn't dark enough. I don't know why it's fading, but I'll have to find a different pigment to use. Like this pic is pretty cute and it has some of my favorite items lately. So impromptu photo taken indoors. You guys know I kind of suck at taking photos indoors, but this setup with, I guess this timing in the day right now actually ended up working. So I'm quite happy. Anyway, now I'm gonna go dance for real. So time to make my little drink for the morning. I have a Miffy spoon, of course, in case you haven't been able to tell, Miffy is literally my obsession right now. I pour some in here. It's, it's just like a syrup basically. And it's become a very nice way to start my days. I'm gonna pour in some water the syrup and sometimes i have to add more sometimes i have to add less i think today is a more kind of day judging by the color oh my gosh yes this is good okay <laughs> So tasty. I'm gonna take this to my workstation now. Okay, so welcome to my desk. Currently, I have this little guy on here. This is what I'm gonna be working on today. I wanted to make as many of these as I can, but I wanna really focus on not overworking myself this time because last time around when I was crocheting stuff, I was making these little flowers, right? And these are super cute. I love them. I love how they came out and I really, really appreciate you guys like buying out all of my stock every single time. However, comma, I was working so quickly, such high quantity with my hands specifically that I like had the worst posture. My back was really bad after that. I had to take like a month off of crocheting to have my hands not cramp anymore, my wrists not click, and my back not hurt every day when I woke up. So now I realize the importance of posture, which I did not know before. So this time around, I'm going to be extra careful with not overworking myself. And also this is the guy that I'm working on today. We have some items in here. We actually have this little bird guy in here lol. You can sit over here. I have uh, this little guy on here, which is a little side duck. I got this from Japan. I thought it was cute. So I just put this on here because this one's mine. I'm not sure how many I'll get to, but I'm just going to have a realistic working day, not overworking myself. This is one that I've already been working on. I've also gotten better at yarn hand posture. This might not be the best. Also, this yarn is like super difficult to work with low key. Last time I was literally grip it so hard with my pinky, which is so bad. I'm also going to be doing linings, which I did in this one as well. I might be using the same fabric, but I might be using some different ones too. But this is all hand sewn. The zipper is hand installed. Lots of processes going through, but today we're just going to be crocheting. I brought my big <laughs> thing of yarn. It used to be bigger, but I've already made one ducky pouch and I've actually made a couple pieces last night as well. So still a lot of progress to be made, but we have some pieces already. So we are whittling away at this. I don't know when I'll be able to use all of this up, but maybe, maybe today. But currently I just got to a point with one of my yarns because I do two yarns for this. I need to connect a piece and this ball of yarn is a little bit ugly. I'm not gonna lie. I had this from the last time I made a ducky pouch and I tried to make wings and I did not like it. So I am repurposing that yarn obviously so that I don't waste it. So I'm going to be tying this into the last piece of yarn that we had so that I can use up this ball now. Obviously you won't be able to see this from the outside and I'm going to reinforce it with glue and stuff later on in the process. I can't find a big spool like this of this type of yarn that I like though, unfortunately. So also I have a stitch marker. I currently use this little pink plastic lobster clasp that I have and it looks like this. It's a little heart, but yeah, I didn't want to vlog the entire process of today. So I'm just going to be giving it you guys little updates here and there about the process that we're making, because if I were to actually just <laughs> vlog every single second of this, it'll get Get very boring because you guys already know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna be crocheting all day. So I'm gonna see how much progress I can make and I'm still debating on how much I want to price these guys because that's very important, you know, and I'm not really sure where I stand on that yet, but there's still a lot more work to be done before I even get to that point. So I will just be having it in the back of my 
mind. So right now I'm currently just whittling away at this. I'm gonna put on a show. I think I'm gonna catch up on some Grey's Anatomy. My little drink. So yeah, it's a good day so far. Also, I'll probably go tend to the hammies in a bit. Typically I see the hammies in the morning, but today I wanted to get some work done first before I went and saw them. I had to dismantle that ball of yarn that you guys saw that was already ugly to begin with, but now it's worse because basically I started using the wrong end of it and I'm too lazy to like undo all my stitches and use the right end. So I did this. Hopefully we will be able to use this up and I'll let you guys know if it gets less ugly. Here is the lump. I have another strand obviously coming off because I am doing two strands, but we are getting close to being able to kind of consolidate this ugly lump of yarn into like using up all of this and then having a normal ball of yarn. So that is exciting. I have three more rounds, I think, for this body part of the ducky. And then I will be moving on to making one of the heads. And once I'm done with this part, then I will be having three fully completed bodies. And so I'm thinking I'm gonna crochet as much as I can today. And then I'm gonna be doing the linings tonight just cause I don't know, I feel like sewing is a nighttime activity if that makes sense. It's so satisfying like using up balls of yarn. I don't know if anyone else relates to this, but I personally really enjoy it. I feel like it's like visible progress. You know, when you use up your materials and stuff like that. Now I have to replace it. And we have officially made it to this ball of yarn, yippee. So now it doesn't look literally awful. I am quite happy about this. We're still using it from the inside. So this is not the string of yarn that is from the outside, but this ball of yarn, as you can see, can kind of handle that a lot better. Yeah, things have been cleaned up. We have completed one. So I'm going to snip this off. I'm just going to continue on making the next one. <laughs> Adding to my stack, these are two heads, but now we have three bodies, OMG. I don't know how many of these I will be making. I wanted to aim for 10, although that's super ambitious. Five is more realistic, but it'll just depend on when I feel like releasing these because I just want to make these enjoy the process as I'm making them. But I've been working on this one. This is one of the heads. I have to attach another ball. Now I used up that whole ugly ball. So now we have a new cute one, a new pretty one. So I'm just going to do the same thing. I think I'm going to take a little bit of a break. Feel my hands cramping. I've been doing this for about three hours now. Maybe I'll go see what the hammies are up to. Also updates on the big one. It looks about the same. It's really like compressed in here. So I'm going to assume that it's probably going to look the same for quite a while. Also, I wanted to see if I can make like a coin purse version. So I might try to follow the pattern, but with just one strand, or I might just have to alter the pattern all on its own. But I'm kind of interested to see what that would look like. So that is next on my to-do list for today. I just discovered Hammy in her bathroom. Do you want to hang out? Look at my baby hamster. <laughs> Hi, Ham. Hi, hello. Good morning. She's not really baby anymore. I guess she's like full grown now, but she is heavy ham. I weighed her the other day and she's 170 grams right now, which is crazy, but I guess she's just very large. But hello, Ham. Just saying hello. I should really give all the hams their veggies today. Usually I give it to them at night, but last night I was kind of out late, so I kind of missed it. But here she is. <laughs> what? I've never heard you make those sounds before. I think she wants veg. She already ate some apple earlier today. I'll get you veg and I will bring it back to you. Oh my God. She just took her entire toy back there. Why did you, why did you redecorate like that? Oh my God. It usually just sits out here, but she took it back there today. You were so silly. This is the last bit of the veg for the hams. So I'm just gonna wash all of this. I am just gonna pat these veggies dry so that they're not like soaking wet for the hamsters. And I'm gonna cut two of them a small piece of apple. There we go, we got their little snacks. Purin, a, oh, there she is. Hi, Purin. I know you know your name. Ready for your veg? She will snatch this veg from me. She's so excited. Here you go. Wow, quite scary. You want another one? Yeah, here you go. I have to hand deliver all of them to her. All right, last one. 
There you go. She will just start chewing on those. Pingu is currently in a bit of a hospital cage situation because he's been having some problems. So I've been keeping an eye on him, which is why he doesn't have as much bedding as he normally does. I've given him my favorite little bowl. This is a little, I guess it's a turnip, but it's so cute, but it looks like he needs a little bit more food. So I'll get him that. But hi, Pingu. I like to color coordinate my veggies to my ham so he gets the darker ones. Hey, bud. Look at you go. Here you go. Pyrin did a really strange thing and took her veg into there. Why did you take your veg into your bathroom? He looks like a soot sprite from Totoro. Pingu also gets that small piece of apple. I don't know if he'll want it. Sorry to disrupt you. May I care to interest you in this apple? No? Okay, I'll, I'll leave it there. <laughs> Love you, Pingu. Okay, he's really going in on this, but I still have some veg for banana muffin. But we have quite a bit of veg for her because she's a big girl. So I used to put her snacks on this little heart tray that's actually a little bit dirty right now. Oh, there you are. They don't all really fit in there. <laughs> but knowing her, she'll probably all take them somewhere else. Do you... <laughs> Can you come back? Can I interest you in an apple slice? Oh, here she comes. Oh, she's gonna pouch stuff. Oh dear, that may mean that she's gonna pouch literally everything here. <laughs> You're so funny. Look at you go. Oh. Is that one too large? She's gonna take that one to go. Are you coming back for more? Oh, she's ignoring the apple, it seems. I've noticed she likes to put all her food like in the back and she doesn't like to leave it out here. So she'll pouch everything just to move it. Your cheeks are so round right now. I'm gonna pick you up. I'm gonna pick you up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hammy, you're so silly. Look how round her cheeks are right now. Okay, handbrake over. I'm currently watching The Good Doctor, which I've never seen before, but I will let you guys know how I feel about it. I have to use this Psyduck guy because my one that I was using has broken into three pieces, which is very unfortunate. But I just finished the last stitch, so we can cut this guy off now. I do have to leave kind of a long tail for these, uh, for the heads, because I have to sew them on. I'm gonna cut it all the way down here. There we go. We have another one. So now we have three. It doesn't need this guy actually. <laughs> so I will add these guys to the pile over here and now I'm going to try to make a tiny version. So to finish off the night, I'm going to be doing some drawing. I did this one a little bit ago and I also have some other designs as well. This one is going to be a print and then I have some stickers and stuff here as well, but I need to adjust some of this to uh, get it ready to be sent to my manufacturers. So I'm going to be working on this for the rest of the night. Hopefully I can get these stickers in semi soon. That would be great. I have a lot of files uh, to prepare these few days because I'm trying to get a lot of stickers and things made. So I'm going to spend the rest of my night doing some of this. And I will see you guys tomorrow with the updates on how many of these I get done because I'll probably do a few more tonight. But I will see you guys then. Hello everyone, good morning. It is the next next day. I think it's been two or three days um, since I filmed the last part because I've just been focusing on crocheting. I actually had to get another big thing of yarn because I used up the first one and it's all gone. So now we have a new one and it's the size of my head. They do be large, but here's a little update. Today I started on my last I don't know, guy. Four little bodies and we have, technically we have five because I experimented and I wanted to make a goose and I don't know how it's gonna go. It's either a goose or a swan, but this is the body for that one and it has little frills because I thought that would be super cute. And then I have a longer head. So I'm gonna put this together today and it's gonna have little frills. I thought it'd be really cute. We're just experimenting with this one. So that one's kind of uh, just there, but we also have four duck today potentially but I don't think I'm gonna be able to make all of them it's currently 4 p.m. so I wanted to work on actually assembling these today I don't want to just have the pieces laying around and I'm kind of ready so I brought some of the materials that I'm gonna use uh, I have these fabrics that I think are gonna be really cute some strawberry fabrics and I have my zippers. I stocked up on a bunch of this when I went to Japan. So I brought back a bunch of materials for these duckies. Also, I did make one that's just this little guy. I don't know 
how I feel about it. Maybe it's like the color that I don't like. I don't know, but I guess it's cute, but he has no, no facial features. So I don't know how I feel about it, but yeah, I just started my day. Uh, I just put on a little fit. Do you guys want to see my pants? I got new pants from Urban. I haven't bought anything from Urban in a long time, but they're really cute. They have like these strappies and they have like an elastic, which I really, really like. I don't know. They're just so comfortable. And I feel like a lot of the denim that I wear these days are like super tight. So now this one like actually adjusts to my body throughout the day. So I love it. Yeah, new strappy pants. Very excited. I feel like this is my fit for the summer. That aside, I wanted to get some of these put together. I still have some of the fabric from my original ducky that I made that I actually really, really like. This is actually like a baby swaddling cloth, but it looks like this. So I'm going to use some of this and some of the new fabric. I think it looks really nice in my ducky, as you can see, have that going on. So today we're going to do some sewing. I'm going to do some crafting uh, and I'm just going to see how it goes. So I got everything on my desk. As you can see, very, very messy, but I'm going to begin. I don't know if I want to make my goose first or I want to make the duckies first. Maybe I should make a ducky and then make a goose and then make the other duckies. Uh, I have my hot glue gun plugged in and I only use tack stuff down. I don't actually use it to like assemble anything. We're about to do some hard work out here, but now that I have hair out of my face, I can do things. I want to try the strawberry cloth first because it's just so cute. Do you see? Like, I love it. So this one is, oh, I didn't even realize I could feel it. Oh, it's a gauze. It's double gauze cut cloth. I don't even know if this will work. It's made in Japan, but I hope that it does. There, there it is. It is all folded up and stuff though, but it looks like this will be fun. Oh, it's so cute. Look how pretty. It's beautiful. And this one's pink and I have a white one as well, but I think, ooh, it is pretty small. But yeah, let's try it. So I'm gonna clean this up just the slightest bit. I need to make a pattern. So I do have some paper. Now we have our little pattern. So now I'm gonna cut it out on my fabric. Okay, I have to take these rings off because I cannot work with them on. With this pattern, it does not even make one and a half. It only makes one. So that is unfortunate but that is okay. Oh, I have to cut all these strawberries. Just kind of sad because they're really cute. I just realized I should not have been cutting on the line that I drew. <laughs> LOL, that's okay. Boop. So I think I need to hem this first before I do anything else. I will be hand sewing everything. I just like to use the glue to like tack stuff down. So just like fold it down. I'm going to just sew these two pieces together and I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna like double it so that it's like sturdy. Hopefully people aren't putting like really sharp items in here, but I think this should be fine. This would most definitely be a lot easier if I had a sewing machine, but I don't. I actually do have a family friend that I might ask to just go to their house and like borrow their sewing machine next time I make these ducky pouches so that I don't have to do all of it by hand. That would be nice. I used to hand sew a lot when I was in like elementary school. My grandma taught me how to sew when I was like, I don't know, I was probably like four, honestly. And then I just started sewing and like making stuff. So it's actually harder for me to do this because I'm doing like a straight stitch. Whereas normally I would be doing, is this a running stitch? I don't know, but like I'm doing a stitch that's kind of hard to do quickly. But I hear, I hear a hamster. Should I go get my hamster? I hear banana muffin and I would like to see her. Hi, sweet girl, what are you doing? You, she's like a little dog. Like usually if I open her treat bag, she will come. And I've been breaking her treats in half because I feel like it's too much for a small hamster to have this whole thing. It's just too large. Come here, Pam. Oh, look at you. Wow, look how big you are. She's just ginormous. She smells the treat. I'm holding it in my hand and she's looking for it. No, I cut Purin's nails this morning because they were just getting too long and she was very nice and let me do it. But no, I'm not giving it to you. She's like a little, she's like a little bear. No, hers could be trimmed, but I'm not gonna do that because she's still a baby. Do you want this? <laughs> Good job. Oh, <laughs> this is my hand. No more. You want to sniff the camera? Okay. 
So here is the strawberry pouch. It actually technically won't be flipped this way. It'll be like this, but you won't be able to see the outside, you know? So I'm just gonna flip them like this. But the stitches look pretty good. I don't know how I'll be able to show you, but like, I do like pull it apart to test it and see how it looks. And it looks pretty sturdy. I'm gonna make a couple more pouches of various fabrics. This goose, so I'm debating whether I want to do the white strawberries inside or the pink strawberries. I think the white strawberries look kind of cute though. I kind of want to do like white strawberries with like a green zipper. I don't know if I have a green zipper. We're gonna, we're gonna try. But I think after doing the first one, I kind of remember how to do this again. So the second one hopefully will go a bit smoother. And the strawberry is situated. I have my pattern, but I think for the goose, actually for the goose, this should be fine. I'm just gonna do what I did last time. I have to put the good sides together. Oh, it's so cute. I'm gonna do this side. Now, just to go through and glue these little edges together before I start sewing. Needle and thread that I now double up the thread for. I'm just gonna go through and sew this together. I just stabbed myself. <laughs> I started adding a blanket stitch to uh, the second go around, so I think it'll be even stronger now, which is good. Oh yeah, this is definitely stronger than the last one, I think, so. We have cute little strawberry pouch. So I have my duck head, and then where's the goose one? The goose one is like comically long. <laughs> and oh, I gotta make a beak too. Okay, so here is one beak. I don't really remember my original pattern for the beak. It looks like it was actually smaller, but I think this will be fine. I think it's more important to do the beak first than it is to do the eyes first. So I'm gonna go ahead and just sew this on. Oh my God, okay, I just took a break. I'm eating a peach right now. And this is the tastiest, most delicious peach I've literally had in like years. It's so good. It's so good. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> but my desk looks crazy right now. Like this is what it looks like. We have all of these fabrics, the goose body, my original ducky, peaches, like so many things are happening, but things are coming together slowly but surely. I'm gonna procrastinate by finishing up some lavenders that I have on my desk. I'm preparing to do like my fluffy flower launch version two in the upcoming like month or two. It's gonna be a while. So if you guys are interested, definitely follow my Instagram for that. But I have these little lavender pieces that have just been chilling on my desk. I think I have four of them. And I saw this thing recently where it was like, if your friend or partner or whoever is like cleaning the house, like chaotically don't stop them just say like just say thank you after because what was the way they phrased it it was like because their mind is a mess and i realized that i do that too i'm sure a lot of people do that we're like uh to cope with like other things that you can't control and making these duckies is stressing me out a little bit right now so i'm going to do this in hopes that it takes this specific thing off my desk so I don't have to worry about it and then I can focus. Everything's getting tangled which is really really bad. So also if I use up some of the yarn, like right now my lap is just a bunch of yarn. So you guys already know my method that sometimes works. Instead of just untangling yarn, like untangling it and like unraveling it like you probably just should do. I'm just going to use it up because that's honestly the most efficient and effective way. And I'm a big fan of efficiency. So I'm just gonna get these <laughs> done and out of my way. And then I will try to sew the beak on without a tapestry, which can be done. It'll just be like annoying, but this is the easiest part of making the lavenders. So I don't personally mind it, but we got one almost done, uh, several more to go. I keep just coping right now for sure. This is the last one. There's a really no reason why I should be doing this other than that suddenly this is what I found myself doing. But now we have four little lavenders and they are cute. Also, I literally love the color of these lavenders. I know pink has been my thing for like a very long time, but recently kind of branched out into purple. Oh, which reminds me, I got stickers today that I wanted to show you guys. Cause I literally mentioned them in this video. So I was like, oh my God, they got here in time. Uh, Cause it's been like about a week since I ordered them. So I need to go grab those and show them to you. But I got my little purple stickers uh, because I'm, I'm re-entering my 
my purple era. Aren't they so cute? Now we have four of them. The lavenders are re-entering my <laughs> life again, which makes me happy. Okay, I'm going to try my best to do this now for real. Is this not so cute? I wanted to take a photo of the ducky, like full of like the little flowers. So I thought that would be so cute, but I didn't get to it before I sold all of them. So now this is the best that I have. <laughs> this is most definitely more complicated than it has to be, but I am just so silly. So I'm doing it like this. This would literally be so much easier with a needle, but oh well. There's one of the eyes. I'm going to tie it off. Happy to have one done. See, it's like a little head. Okay, so currently we have this guy that's done. It's a mess inside. That's just how it goes, but everything's glued down. We have this one that I was experimenting with and like eyes would be super, super cute. Like I can put one in here just as a hypothetical. Like it would be, it would be super cute, but I don't know. I just feel like I like it better when they're dead. <laughs> don't take that out of context. This one I definitely should have done before I made the neck so long, but you know what? Like what's done is done. Now I have to struggle to get the black thread in there. Just do the same thing that I did before. It's not like impossible. It's just like a little bit frustrating, but I can kind of like feel my way around in there. There's one X. I just gotta do it again. Okay, I wanted to say that the hard part is over, but if I'm being so for real, now he's dead. <laughs> the hard part is not over because this whole installation part is just a lot. Uh, currently, he looks like this. Uh, the goose, because I have to like flip their head kind of in a weird way so that the glue can dry in there. But the other one's done. So I have my polyfill. We're gonna fill up the head just a little bit. So now I'm going to put him on. I think we'll just we'll just pick one. So we'll just do this one. And I'll probably do this off camera because it's really just like, I'm just gonna attach these. So I will be back once they're attached. Let's see if I can do a transition. Wow! <gasps> Okay, crazy fit. I know, I put on my pajama shirt over because it's starting to get a little chilly in here, but I'm going to sew on my little goose head. When I did these stitches, I actually, I don't know how well you can tell on camera, but I left a row of stitches to sew on and I only did the scallops on the outer loops on a portion of them so that my duck head can, or my goose head can attach successfully. One thing that I decided to do with this one, because like the head is so large that it really needs like plush little body to support him. I'm making like a monstrosity right now, honestly. I added some fluff on the inside. So the pouch is gonna have a little bit of like fluff and this is gonna be more of a like stuffed animal type. So far it's gonna look a little something like this and it's going to be very cute the little strawberries so yeah this is gonna be my project that hopefully i finish tonight we have my original guy obviously and then i did stitch the head on the other one so it came out pretty cute but i'm going to probably install the zipper on this tonight and then i'm gonna try to finish a couple more tonight uh so update you guys in the morning on how many that i made but yeah now it's just a matter of putting them together and part is a little bit tiresome. Okay, wait, so random, I wasn't planning on filming today, but so many things came in the mail. First of all, I did my nails. I uh, hope you guys like them, LOL. I got my shipment of prints, some stickers, and a sunny angel in the mail. All these things came at once, uh, so I wanted to show you guys. First thing I want to show you is the print. I've been working on some new stuff. You guys saw me do these for my journals. I did this illustration, and I thought this print came out so pretty. It was originally a painting, but I ended up up just like fully making it a print and i just think the colors are so nice and so pretty and so i got a i don't know i think maybe a hundred of these or something like that so we have this print which is now going to be available on my site soon not yet but pretty soon also i got the other one the purple one just as a smaller like postcard size just because i thought that would be cute. So we have two of those. Um, we have two different like flower sets. So that's really exciting for like the summer. And then lastly, I got these little space prints and I got all of these matte this time. I think I would have actually preferred them glossy. So once I sell out of these, I'll definitely be going back for some glossy ones. But these are what these guys look like. I think they are super cute. They are just little spaceships. And this is based off of this sticker that I designed, which I have over here. I have a bunch of them and they came out 
so pretty. I absolutely love these. I think that the sparkle just looks so good and I have so many of these. And I ordered more stickers actually, but these are the second batch that I ordered, but because I only ordered two of these, they came a lot faster. So I'm still waiting on a bunch of other stuff, but these guys are so pretty. I already put one on my laptop and I think it looks incredible. I'm very happy. And then I also have a purple version of the spaceship stickers. And I feel like these have like a summery vibe. I don't know why, but for some reason I was randomly hooked on like aliens and spaceships and things like that suddenly. But it just gives like American summer vibes. I don't know if that makes sense to anyone, but I feel like when I was younger, like in the summer, it was just like farms and cows and then, you you know, subsequently aliens and crop circles and things like that. So that's like my kind of childhood memory of summer. So I kind of wanted to go off of that this year, which is super exciting. So I have all of this fun stuff that's not gonna fit in there, but I'm gonna have to list these on my website soon, probably next week. I don't think I'll get to this this week because I'm still waiting for some stuff from this sticker shipment. So I want everything to be here ideally, and then I'll put it online. And so I got a Sunny Angel as well in the mail. I ordered this from eBay because I'm suddenly back on my sunny angel grind i recently made some new friends that are all into sunny angels so it's super fun having like community for once but i ordered this specific one because i really wanted it and actually i joined a facebook group and the first time that i ever tried to buy anything off of facebook i had a horrible experience and the person literally sold the item i was literally buying from her as i was paying she was like sorry it's sold so i decided to buy it off ebay because I already got my hopes up and I really wanted it. But this is from, I think the 2018 collection. I'm not entirely sure, uh, but it is already pre-opened because I knew the one I wanted, but I don't really mind that at all. Uh, anyway. Oh my gosh, here they are. So cute. Does the head spin on these? Look how cute is the little ghost one. I am so happy with this. Literally so cute. So this is gonna be going in my collection today, but um, yeah, random little haul today. I feel like this, just is all the same vibe. I'm very happy with these stickers though. So these will be on my shop very soon. Probably not when this video comes out, but you can check my Instagram and I'll keep you guys updated on all this stuff. So cute, OMG, baby. Hello everyone. So it has been like two days now and I've officially finished a good amount of the duckies. And I've realized that I've actually been making progress throughout them. Cause I think I know that I used the same pattern, but I think just maybe I'm using a different hook or something, but their heads were coming out a little bit long. So the first few, heads are a little bit longer than I would like them to. So I started shortening them. And then the last two that I did are exactly how I want them to be. So I'm very happy, but currently I have five baby duckies. So many, like, oh my God, they're literally so, so cute. And I did different pattern interiors for all of them. I also got way better at installing the zipper. So I'm very happy about that. But this one has a cream zipper with a pink strawberry interior. This one is, oh, the super cute little candy fabric. I've actually had this in my house for a minute and I never really knew what to do with it. So I have it inside of this one and I'm gonna be taking pictures and putting these up on my site probably in the next vlog that I film. So not yet but uh, soon. And then this one is a cream zipper with I think just the original fabric that I was using. So the little pink part on the inside. And then I have, I think I have two that have the little candy insides. So super cute. And I have two that have the original, but yeah, these are all of the duckies that I made this time around. I will be making probably a few more. So I will keep you guys updated in the next few vlogs. But thank you guys for watching and for hanging out with me while I made these little baby duckies. Uh, it's been super fun and I'm definitely gonna be making more. I think felt like a lot of work in the beginning, but as I'm getting into the groove of things, it's definitely feeling Feeling a lot better. This one is like dead. Well, I guess they're all dead, but they're so cute. So yeah, I just want to come and update you guys on how many I actually got around to making. And this is the whole entire set. So uh, follow my Instagram if you guys want to be kept more up to date and stuff. But thank you guys for watching, for hanging out, and I will see you guys in the next vlog for more baby duckies. Bye everyone.